Bhagavad Gita tells us that the force of gravity is so well balanced and organized that the forces working in between neither pull in the direction with a visible change in the course or uh, distance nor are permitted to go further away in the sense that it should get closer to other other things the whole balance is kept this is why the holy quran says bighayr amadin tarawna there are in force internal forces which connect heavenly bodies with each other and keep their mutual comparative distances exactly alike in the sense that the ratio is kept this is what has what is happening in the universe exactly despite the fact that at another place the holy quran itself says wa inna la musiun although we have we have created but we have not uh, made it um, stationary we have not um, uh, created it in a stationary form inna la musiun we will continue to expand and we are expanding that is the meaning of inna la musiun which means that the universe is also expanding so the truth lies between these two fundamental verses of the holy quran as far as the gravitational forces of gravitation are concerned this is the picture drawn by the holy quran on the one hand it says that the planetary bodies are held with the pillars which are invisible to you cannot see from that it appears that uh, neither they can come closer nor go away from each other if they are fixed with pillars that should be the obvious picture we draw of the universe but at the same time the holy quran says inna la musiun we go on expanding them so is there a contradiction or a different picture is uh, attempted to be drawn in my opinion and obviously this is correct there is no contradiction but a different picture which is difficult to explain to the people ordinarily without knowledge of science is being depicted here in these two verses number 1 there are forces which are invisible number 2 they act as a prevention for uh, uh, prevention against bodies falling or collapsing upon each other or running away from each other uh, without uh, with so so that the distances in between the various stars are disturbed these are the two very clear pictures drawn from this and the second verse says we go on expanding the universe so when you study how the universe is being expanded then you understand the whole phenomena the universe is being expanded like uh, a balloon which is dotted on all sides if it is small the relative distances between the dots should be fixed and turned into uh, mathematical figures then you expand you will be surprised to learn that if there is equal expansion in all sides the relative distances will remain the same and they will go on expanding so this is exactly how the universe is expanding everything is gaining distance upon another body yet the mutual relationship remains stable and the same and the whole equilibrium of the universe is not disturbed this is the concept of universe as we draw from the holy quran so not only the, uh, the gravity is mentioned 
but how gravity is controlled that is also mentioned if allah had only said that uh, bodies are drawing each other closer to each other the picture which would which would be which would evolve from this would be that we are a collapsing universe so the holy quran has avoided saying such a thing which could be wrongly inferred it says uh, we are an expanding universe so how could say at the same time that everything is attracting each other so the, in these two verses what was very difficult for the that uh, people of that time to understand has been said at various places so that it did not agitate their minds at all they didn't know what had been said but people of the later ages who understood universe better when they read these verses they understand the message now this is the beauty of the holy quran that it says things addressed to people of men thousand years or more beyond and yet people of the time are not disturbed by those declarations they simply fail to understand similarly as we are reading the holy quran today i know positively that there are many verses which we pass by without noticing them a people of a thousand years from now some of them at least whom allah chooses to do that job would be surprised how we missed the import of those verses because uh, things which would be happening in those days would be described in the holy quran when the subject has turned into heavenly bodies and evolution and gravity you see it would not be out of place to request your views on Darwin's evolution theory you see I have already expressed my views on this on many times in the bank theory you see in the bank theory bank you pardon in the bank theory you see bank in the bank bank yes. big bank I have also yes. expressed yes. many a time here in london as well as in dubai and also i mentioned it in one of my sermons so what we are doing now is that uh, we are cataloging subject wise the things discussed in various sermons and question answer sessions as far as the english part goes that was being looked after by sir fazil fazil ahmed sahib you know sayed fazal ahmed sahib who is here the ex dig of bihar retired so he has done a lot of job and for the remaining cassettes he has left some notes how many has he covered actually he has uh, covered uh, the whole session here but so far as the uh, editing or looking this this has not been done editing. that is different i'm not talking of editing but cataloging cataloging that has been done that has been uh, i think uh, done up to the last two months uh, the remaining uh, you, i told you to do to give to munir munir is doing, doing. inshallah soon will be released no, now as far as the catalog is concerned it's a progressive phenomena you can never reach the end like this so whatever has been achieved that should be published the purpose is that most of the ahmadis in the world have started preaching now my purpose is to provide them with the answers to such questions which they themselves cannot answer because once they start preaching to people they are asked all sorts of questions from every type of people from every walk from every uh, educational level so a community which has been entirely involved or which is supposed to be involved entirely must be provided with enough enough material to defend their cause so this is why i have planned to get make a catalog of question answer sessions 
because question answer sessions have one advantage